My name is Andy Hatzos. I'm a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Wilmington, Ohio. Um, you'll find everyone usually has some sort of experience in their childhood that, that starts them off on this path. For me, um, there was a funnel cloud sighted over my grandparents' house. I remember the event when I was five. I ran down the stairs, probably screaming and crying, almost tripping and falling over myself just to get to the basement. My name is Mike Ryan, my occupation is a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service office in Wilmington. I think I was first interested, uh, well, I was interested in meteorology, or in weather, I guess, um, at a young age. Lived in Jackson, Mississippi for a couple of years when I was five, six years old, up in the early 80s, and got to see a lot of interesting severe weather down there and thought it was the coolest thing. My name is Link Crawford. I'm a meteorologist at the Ohio River Forecast Center. What first got me interested in weather? Well, I'm a little different than some. I find that a lot of meteorologists had a love of weather their whole life. And although I was always interested in it, I, I lean towards lots of different things, but a lot of them pertain to science. I like science. And, uh, and then when it came to go to college, I realized I have to make a decision now. My name's Todd Schoem, and I'm a meteorologist by degree, but my current position is information technology here at the National Weather Service office in Wilmington. I was more of the typical story, uh, just the, the crazy weather that happens here in the Ohio Valley just drew my interest. And uh, although I got into high school and I didn't really intend to go into weather as a career, I, I was actually leaning more towards computers and um, I actually got a chance to work at Channel 2 in Dayton uh, for a little while. And that just kind of cemented the interest in weather. Um, what school subject do you have to be interested in? Um, well, you have to be very good with science and math. Those are the fundamentals of what makes up meteorology, especially in the age of numerical modeling, which takes such a very large portion of uh, what we do now. Uh, computers, I can't uh, overstate the importance of computers. Everything we do at the Weather Service offices and really anywhere in weather are based on uh, computers. Well, one thing is, I was always, and this might come as a shock, but I was always pretty shy as a, as a kid. Um, and I remember having to take a speech class in high school. I, I hated it. I hated getting up in front of other people. Um, and not everybody has to do that here at the weather service level, but you're involved here with a lot of uh, contacts with media and other folks. And we're going out and we're doing talks. And also the ability to uh, communicate with the public. Um, one, to see what they need, and two, to let them know what's coming and to effectively communicate uh, messages like warnings. To get into the business of meteorology, you're gonna go through a four-year program to get your Bachelor of Science in Meteorology. Um, there are lots of schools that offer this kind of thing, although not every single school does. But what you're gonna be looking for is Obviously, a good background in math, a good background in physics, and some other sciences as well. Working in weather does require job sacrifices in that um, the weather never stops. Um, it's going 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and so uh, no matter where a person chooses to work, if, if their career is meteorology, they're probably going to be working shift work. Um, whether you're working in television or working in a private forecasting uh, industry or, or here at the National Weather Service where we're staffed with forecasters 24 hours a day. Um, so that requires some rotating shifts. Um, um, times you're going to be working midnights. You're going to be working weekends. Uh, you'll be working some Christmases and Thanksgivings and other holidays that you wish you had off. Um, so that is a sacrifice. You have to miss some family time that most people get or some sleep that you wish you were getting. Um, some people have a hard time with that and there are some that choose to change the direction of their career because of that. Some people have a hard time, but most people are able to adapt. 